Trico, worldwide leadership in lubrication management. The Optomatic Oiler has been providing constant level lubrication for over 75 years. Its main purpose is to provide the proper quantity of lubrication at the proper level in a given piece of equipment. The purpose of this video is to demonstrate the proper method of installing the Optomatic Oiler. As with any maintenance project, you always want to use proper personal protective equipment and follow lockout takeout procedures. The first thing to determine when installing the Optomatic is the shaft rotation of your piece of equipment. The shaft rotation will be indicated by arrows on the casting. When the piece of equipment is running, the lubrication will tend to swell to one side of the housing. This is the side you want the Optomatic on. Mounting it on the opposite side tends to cause misfeeding of the oiler. Once you've determined what side to put the Optomatic oiler on, it's important to find the proper oil level on your piece of equipment. This can be found with tags already mounted on the piece of equipment or cast right into the housing itself. If, if this is not the case, engineering drawings or operator manuals can provide the necessary dimensions to get you to your proper oil level. In our case, we've indicated the oil level with a white line. The next thing they determine is whether to mount the oiler from the side or the bottom. This will vary from case to case depending on your piece of equipment. The main objective is to get your piping to the proper oil level within the adjustment range of the oiler. In our case, we have decided to side mount the oiler using assorted pipe fittings to get within our adjustable range, which is three quarters of an inch. Next, we want to install the lower casting. To install the lower casting, we want to apply some hydraulic thread sealant using the side port turn the casting clockwise, tighten until it's in its upright position. We also want to make sure that the lower casting is level and parallel to the shaft of the piece of equipment. An important side note is to refrain from using Teflon based sealants as some oils can attack and degrade these sealants causing leaking between your connections. Next I want to use a level to put a mark on the lower casting where the oil level should be. Next I want to measure the distance from the control point to the bottom edge of the upper casting. It's important to note that the distance from the control point to the bottom edge of the upper casting will vary from oiler to oiler. We want to mark that distance on the lower casting as well. Now I will be able to use the bottom edge of the upper casting assembly as my external indicator of where the proper oil level is. The upper arm on the level adjuster assembly controls the level of the oil. The lower arm locks the upper arm into a fixed position. Rotate the upper until the upper casting sits equal to the mark on the lower casting, then lock into position. At this point we're ready to fill the bearing housing. We're going to use the lower casting to fill the bearing housing. We don't want to use the top vent port for filling as it can cause an overfill condition in the bearing housing due to shaft runoff. We're now going to use a hand pump to fill the bearing housing through the lower casting. We want to make sure that we fill all the way up to the bottom of the level adjuster arms. This process may take some time depending on the size of your bearing housing. You want to be sure not to fill past the control point on the upper arm. Use the Optomatic Reservoir to fill the remaining lubricant to the proper level. Filling the reservoir only two-thirds of the way can prevent occasional vapor lock in the reservoir. Now you want to tighten down the set screw. Check for any leaks in the connections. Check the oil in bullseye sight and you're ready to run. There's an alternative method to leveling and adjusting your Optomatic oiler. That is the Optomatic laser level adjuster. The first thing we need to do is take the level adjuster assembly out and place a unit on top of the lower casting. Level the lower casting using the level indicators on the tool. Remove the laser leveler and place the level adjuster on the lower casting. 
Make sure the upper arm is in an unlocked position. Place the laser leveler on the lower casting and turn the adjustment knob until the tool clicks into place. Turn the laser on by pressing the black button. Turn the adjustment knob either direction until the laser aligns with the mark on the piece of equipment. There is also a fine adjustment knob on the side of the tool for leveling at long distances. Remove the tool and lock the level adjuster into place. You have just seen two ways to install the Optimatic Oiler. We hope this information was helpful for you. If you have further questions or need further information, please contact our customer service department at 1-800-558-7008. Trico, worldwide leadership in lubrication management.